Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Talk Games. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on all future achievement guides and tutorials. Also, if this video helped you, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Hey guys, here today to show you how to go about getting the Clockwork Cat, which is an in-game furniture item. First, you'll need to head over to Souls Reed Peninsula and find Gilneas. He patrols the road on his horse, and once you kill him, you will obtain a Gilda and be able to loot Gilneas's sword. He does have a 4 hour respawn timer though, so if he's not there, just check back again in a few hours. Next you'll need to head down to Moonswept Bay and over by the cargo cellar, just off of the dock to the right hand side, once you swim around, you'll see a little cave in the side of the mountain. You'll need to swim through there and follow the right hand path all the way to the back. Once you get to the back, you'll need to swim under the water and there will be a chest that is sunken and once you open it, you can obtain the Sea Folk Pipe. Once you have the Sunken Pipe, you'll need to head to the coast of Sunken Bay, which is at the northern portion of Souls Reed Peninsula, where all along the beach, you'll see tiny little treasure chests litter the sand. You'll need to open these until you obtain the item Crystal Orb. The mobs on the beach do not drop this item. Once you have all three items in your inventory, you'll need to head to the water altar that is just off of the coast, and you'll need to go over there and interact with it. It looks like this. Once you interact with the altar, it will summon a boss called Angry Wave, which you will need to kill. He's a pretty low level boss though, so if you have a higher gear score, you should be able to kill him in one hit. Once you loot him, you should be able to obtain the Clockwork Cat Crate. You can now place this in your home and it is an interactable housing item. 